This is Matthew Halton of the CBC, speaking from Italy. We are all fortunate to live and grow up in Canada after the two world wars, a period when our mothers, fathers, and grandparents volunteered to serve in Canada's armed forces, made huge personal sacrifices, and rose up against tyranny. As young men and women, they were shipped overseas and fought, were injured or died in foreign lands, while the raging battles destroyed farmlands, towns, cities, and villages. Millions of soldiers and civilians in both wars were killed or displaced. The civilians that were caught between the armies suffered horrible casualties, while their homes were often destroyed in the process. A terrible cost to humanity. There's still a real need for peacebuilding in our world. Did you know that right now over 70 million people are displaced as a result of conflict, violence, persecution, and human rights violations? Half of them are children. Rotary's theme for February is Peace and Conflict Prevention and Resolution. During World War II, Rotary informed and educated members around the formation of the United Nations and the importance of planning for peace. Materials such as the booklet From Here On and articles in the Rotarian helped members understand the UN before it was formally established and follow its work after its charter. Today, Rotary holds the highest consultative status offered to a non-governmental organization by the UN's Economic and Social Council, which oversees many specialized UN agencies. As a humanitarian organization, peace is a cornerstone of Rotary's mission. We believe when people work to create peace in their communities, that change can have a global effect. By carrying out service projects and supporting peace fellowships and scholarships, Rotary's members take action to address the underlying causes of conflict, including poverty, discrimination, ethnic tension, lack of access to education, and unequal distribution of resources. Rotary has four roles in promoting peace. Rotary and its members are practitioners, our work fighting disease, providing clean water and sanitation, improving the health of mothers and children, supporting education, and growing local economies directly builds the optimal conditions for peaceful societies. Educators, our Rotary Peace Centers have trained over 1,300 Peace Fellows to become effective catalysts for peace through careers in government, education, and international organizations. Mediators. Our members have negotiated humanitarian ceasefires in areas of conflict to allow polio vaccinators to reach children who are at risk. Advocates. Our members have an integral role as respected, impartial participants during peace processes and in post-conflict reconstruction, we focus on creating communities and convening groups that are connected, inclusive, and resilient. Rotary continues to lead in pursuing peace through its Peace Scholar programs of educating individuals and funding broad-based projects such as vocational training teams based in the peace and conflict resolution and prevention area of focus. Rotary's involvement in peace is driven from clubs and districts and supported by the Rotary Foundation. Under the guidance of a district peace committee, it will provide the necessary education and encouragement to further expand Rotary's role and recognition in continuing to bring peace to the world. Please continue to give to the Rotary Foundation to support our peace initiatives.